All right, let's face it. We've all been in that situation. You're getting ready for a date with someone you really like. And the questions start popping up. What should you wear? How should you act? And most importantly, what's the key to making the evening a success? Well, we wanted answers too. So we brought in a true gentleman to share his insights and give us some valuable advice. So without further ado, let's get into the video. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I think mostly gentlemen. Today we are discussing 10 things you should or should not do on your first date. I'm joined by my co-host, Joop, and Amir from Etamadis. Amir, can you tell us where we are today and what we're going to do? So, pleasure sitting with you guys. Uh, we are here at Etamadis today. Um, of course, in our building, which is located in the city of uh, uh, The Hague, next to the Palace of the King. Um, we are very proud that uh, the location we are here is now uh, owned by our family. And um, here I receive my clients. We come to sit and relax and talk about many stuff. It can be about uh, life, um, clothing, cars, any subject uh, can come across. And um, it's all about uh, quality and the quality of talk. And today we're going to talk about the quality of dating. So let's get into the video, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start off with the first prompt. You should never go to a restaurant on the first date. And if not, where should you go? And if yes, what kind of restaurant to pick? Yeah. So what I would do when I go on a first date is go to maybe a cocktail bar. So you can have like, you can get to know each other. And I think you, you say not restaurant, especially mm -hmm. because when you go to a restaurant, it feels like you have to have a conversation. You, it's not like it's going easy. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but it's handy to have a conversation on the first yeah, date. Yeah, but no? I mean, you... you <laughs> You're just going to sit there and, uh, and say nothing. No, but what, what I mean, you're not, when you go on a, on a restaurant, you maybe sit there for two, three hours. And when you first get to know someone, you don't know if you have a click with someone, especially if you don't know them that well. So when you go to a restaurant, you're there for two hours, three hours minimum. If you go to a bar, you can maybe have a drink or two. And if it doesn't work out, you think, oh, this isn't the girl I, uh, I want to date with something. You could just leave very easily. So I would suggest to go to a cocktail bar or something like easier for the first date. And you and me, what do you think? I think everything is possible. I think in general, you have to see who you, how, how have you met that person? How does that first date happen? So mm -hmm. if you know that person a little bit, you can, and you like her, you can go to a restaurant and take her to a restaurant because you like her. Uh, but if you don't know her and it's really the first time, first time, you can go to a more relaxed place like a bar where it's like more relaxer and you can get to know her better. So it all depends on your mutual, mutual um, likes. Yeah. If you go to a restaurant and she likes food and you like food, I would definitely go to a restaurant. I think so too. I think it depends. Like if you meet someone on Tinder or on Instagram or something, yeah. you don't go to a restaurant because you don't know her, right? Yeah. Exactly. And then that's a huge risk because then you're sitting there three yeah. hours with someone you don't know. But exactly. if you know yeah, her, yeah, that's already, what I meant. Yeah. Like basically, it's always is it wifey material? Yes or no? If yes, go to restaurant. If no, go to bar. Yeah. If I think. you like that person, you go yeah. to a restaurant. And or also, if you don't know yet. Yeah, and also a tip, guys. If you go on your first date with someone, don't sit across to each other because it's not some job interview. You're getting to know each other like on a romantic level. And if you sit like this, it feels like you're going to do business with someone. Yeah. So just sit next to someone so you can have like a little touch sometimes during the date when it's, it's going well. Yeah. Cheeky. Yeah, <laughs> a little touch. <laughs> yeah, a little touch <laughs> on the knee, of on course, the knee, you know. Course. I mean, I, if, if it goes well, you can have like some yeah. touch, right, during the date. True. Okay, so then where should you go? Where should you go? If you don't go to a restaurant. Like a bar, maybe in a bar. I would go maybe to a rooftop bar because it's, it gives you the place that, they, oh, I'm, I'm going somewhere like cool and fancy and stuff, but you still pay for a cocktail like once or twice. So it's not... It's not going to be an expensive, expensive date, but you still create a vibe that you did your best for the date. I think that's a good... I think suggestion. the mistake a lot of gentlemen make, and I can tell by um, the mistakes maybe I have made also in the past, is that you take the person when you're younger, especially when you're younger, you want to sh show off a bit, and then you go to a very expensive restaurant and create a sort of a heavy, mm -hmm. um, heavy date. And I think... You should go to a place which you feel good and um, you can often go. Yeah, exactly. So, so if you go to a very expensive restaurant when you're young, 
you have to do it again and again and again. So yeah, the bar is high. Yeah, the you bar have is to high. Put the yeah. bar where you can, you can always go. Yeah. So that's also a thing. Of I course, when it's for a special occasion, yeah. you, you you should do. But uh, that's something also. I think ladies like it that you that, that one man stays is himself. Mm -hmm. So that's also. A, so what kind of place would you suggest, like for the first date? Um, so I would say a restaurant is is good. Um, going for a drink, it's nice. I think a, a place where which makes you both happy. So if you go to a, be a bar, go to a bar which it's positive. And, um, so I think yeah. Or some activities. It depends also on the lady and yourself. Yeah. If you want to do some activities, also nice. Yeah, it's 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 funny it's funny that you say that because nowadays, especially in our generation, you see on the first day to go to a walk in Amsterdam to the Vondel Park. Yeah. What do you think about that? Yeah, why not? It's like easy. You can get to know each other. But I like the quality as well. So yeah, yeah. I don't <laughs> like activities for first dates. No. What you're gonna do? You go bowling or something? Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Or golfing? No. Yeah. It's not my. It's not. I my like thing to go well, to a restaurant. Yeah. I think if you don't want to take her to a restaurant because she should be like high quality, right? Like yeah. you should actually really want her, like to be your wife or girlfriend, and then she's worth a restaurant basically. But it's basically like what she's worth. If you don't, if you don't think, if you don't think it's gonna work out really well, maybe you just want to play, have some playtime, right? Then you maybe go for a walk or something. But but you don't know that when you first meet her. Ah, you do. Do you? Yeah, you can see instantly. How? Just tell me how. Instinct. Tell the people how. If you just the G's know. No, no, just kidding. So what do you think? So. The non-negotiables, like what what do you have to do at least? Then the minimum is that you take care of the date. So basically you take care of the location where you're going. You suggest to pick her up. And um, of course she has to say yes. Mm, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, that's, I mean, that's, 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 that's a non-negotiable as well. So yeah. picking her up, taking care of the location, paying for the location. So that's that's a bit of the yeah. yeah. You always pay. I always pay. I think I, I like to pay, so it makes but, me happy to uh, pay. That's <laughs> kind of uh, misogynistic, though. You think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. It, it depends on. No, the I'm playing the devil's yeah. advocate. Right? Yeah, uh, no, no. That's that's what you hear all the time. That like. Yeah, but I like to pay. pay. Yeah. A and if the person doesn't want a second date, it's also fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not a pressure that she, that 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 it has to continue after that moment you pay, but I think as a gentleman, it gives you a good feeling to pay. Yeah, true. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, th I think what you just tried to say about the non-negotiables, the non-negotiables, is that you want to give a look to the lady that the whole date go goes for her effortlessly, effortlessly. Yeah. Effortlessly, so that that she could just. Make sure she looks cute. She can go and you say, okay, I'll pick you up at that time. And she is just having fun. And the only thing she has to take care of is how she looks and to be fun. And the rest is taken care of by a gentleman, I think. I think that's that's where you want to go for on the first date as well. And also, gentlemen, be a gentleman. Don't act like a gentleman. I think that's also a, so true. Yeah. Your whole thing. It's not only with her, but your whole being. When you're a gentleman, you take care of that. So I think you have to feel also every, I think in every aspect of the date, you have to feel it. So if you are forcing yourself to open the car door for her, for example, when you arrive at a date, then it's, you feel it. Yeah. And mm -hmm. if it don't, don't feel, if it doesn't feel natural, then it's really weird. If yeah. you do it, it's a bit like, yeah, uh, yeah, it's yeah. Like, uh, you, yeah, you know, you it, just, it, it no. maybe, it maybe gives you like the vibe that you're an imposter or something. You try yeah. to do it, but you're not, you're not the guy to do it. Yeah. Or you, or you don't feel it or, or just, just. Follow your feelings as well. Yeah. And uh, yeah. But okay. try, but try to be one though. Try to to open the car for of her. Of course, always try to open the door for her. To stay care. Try to be it, but if it doesn't feel right, then don't do it. I think that's uh, we're gonna. Okay, answer. let's go to the second thing. Okay. The second thing is basic etiquette. <laughs> basic etiquette. So. So now what? Now while we're at the date, let's do section two, basic etiquette. What are some basic things, Amir, that you should know as a gentleman in a restaurant when you're on a date? The first thing you need to know is that um, 
in general, know the place where you're going. Um, so what, what do you mean with the question? Okay, so let's imagine you sit down. Most people, they have zero etiquette, right? So we have yes. to say everything. So you sit down. How do you use your cutlery? So I think in general, <laughs> you need to know how to use your cutlery. Otherwise, you shouldn't go on a date. <laughs> yeah, but why? <laughs> okay, so you need to work from the outside to the inside. You don't eat with your hands, right? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> we're giving tips for a first date, yeah, so yeah, we have yeah. to tell them how it's done. Because otherwise, they won't know. Yeah. So... You so have you to begin from the outside yeah. for your starters and for your, um, um, like, not main course. Appetizers. Appetizers, yeah. And then you go inside the further you go to the to the main course. And then you have the dessert and then you have the one at the top. So that's yeah. how you use your cutlery, basically. Yeah. And also, when you order food, try to also think about how you're going to eat the food. Don't eat, like, chicken with your hands or stuff or, like, a burger where your hands are going to be dirty and stuff. Yeah, good one. Try to, like, order a steak. Or beef tatar that's easy to eat with the with the with the cutlery as well don't order spaghetti no it's yeah because but that's you can do the thing that splashes on your on your shirt yeah. yeah that's a shame even though you can you have good manners and stuff it can still happen so just don't don't go for that one please mm -hmm. yes but i do have learned that you have to eat chicken and um if it has bones and pizza with the hand so gentlemen be can always eat uh, the eat. chicken with bones and yeah uh, true but then it's, it's just <laughs> yeah. not, you have dirty hands and I, stuff. Know, I, know. Like, I, I do agree with you and you're sitting oh. there off I mean, the, I the mean, the if if you want to do it, do it. We would advise it's smart, maybe because a lot could go wrong to just not do it on the first date. If you know where, like, yeah. like a like a little better, then you can choose. Okay, uh, yeah, let's yeah, do yeah, that. yeah, that's that's a perfect time. That's that's the that's the thing that ha can happen. Also, a second thing. I know a second thing. Everyone when they order something from the menu. You choose right, then you put away the menu. Because yeah. when you put away the menu, the waiter will come to your table and mm -hmm. he will. it's basically a sign that you're ready to order, right? But then when the waiter comes, everyone picks up their menu again, starts looking through the whole menu again to see what they were choosing to order. Uh -huh. So let's say you order a steak, you order a steak, okay, put it away, you wait. Waiter comes, you get the thing again, you get... Uh, steak. <laughs> everyone does that. I would always... You, you know it's a steak, right? Why do you have to look it up again? Just say one steak. Yeah. That's it. Yes. If I see someone do that, it's always... Mm. It's short memory. Probably, yeah. Right? But you know it's a steak. Why would you yeah. have to look it up all the way again? Yeah. Right? I, agree. Yeah. And I, th I can imagine if a woman or if your date saw that, she would also be like, just say steak. You know it's steak. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't be a baby. And would you also order for a lady? I would, of course, ask what she likes. Mm -hmm. And then order with her i think it's it's good to have a, i think clearly the 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 thing which is important co when you're on a date is communication right so basically when you have a good communication with the person who is sitting in front of you or next to you in your case and you're like having your hand <laughs> somewhere but um, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like this you know but but i think in general it is also depends on the communication so if you have a good communication with her mm -hmm. and the person sitting in front of you feels relaxed then you get the permission emotionally to order as well. So, and if you're good at ordering, if you know that you're horrible at ordering, also don't <laughs> order, right? Yeah, <laughs> you have to also and then like, pick the longest <laughs> one on, on the menu. And then <laughs> if you know you're like real bad on desserts, don't order the dessert. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah or just ask what she wants, and then yeah. you can say it to the waiter or something, yeah. right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. It's all about communi good communications with yeah. the person to make it feel it to have it feeling light you know you have to like like dance during the date yeah right and then i think that's that's the whole that's the yeah trust your gut how to do it basically yeah yeah so when you order wine you grab it from here because when you grab it here it gets hot yeah and it shows that you are a little cunt because you don't know how to hold a glass yeah. of wine at the end of the how day you know how to take care of your girlfriend silly you, you look silly it. you look silly yeah, yeah. you just don't know it so you have to do that you have to put your servette on the on your lap you have to say thank you to the waiter. What else do we have? How do you taste the wine? Oh, you can just watch uh, Dries Roelvink. Yeah. <laughs> but show it, show it. If show the international it, people watching this know Dries Roelvink, yeah. it's the guy sitting in the restaurant, right? He's always in Saint Tropez with uh, Julio Iglesias okay. music. And he does like this B roll, B roll now, B roll now. <laughs> We have Julio Iglesias playing in the background. 
Okay, so I, I once took a wine course and they said that it's that looking at the wine is not an, like necessary. It's just showing that like oh. no no, but Dries does it. Okay, but okay, so it's Dries does it's okay. Okay, okay. If Dries does it, the wine course is wrong. So so only don't look at the wine when you know that she is like a, she's very very interested in wine and she do, <laughs> knows other things. But otherwise, you can look at the wine because Dries does it. <laughs> and you know, I would say to 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 the young viewers looking young gentlemen young gentlemen young gentlemen don't be afraid to make mistakes it's so it's nice you know when you make a mistake it's also funny so be be comfortable when you make a mistake yeah because by mistakes you learn right of course so if you don't know that this is an expensive wine don't act like you know this is an expensive wine yeah. <laughs> ask the waiter what kind of wine it is yeah. so i think people like in general to be around people who don't know but are willing to learn and the lady sitting in front of you would feel comfortable that sh that you're not like some lord from... Uh... No, true. true. <laughs> yeah, I would advise everyone, though, to look up some Italian and French wines. Yeah, like, look up the, some Italian red wines, look up some French uh, yeah. white wines, some yeah. Burgundy, some Chianti, yeah. some uh, Montalcino. Look up some stuff so that you know a little bit, okay, when I see this, this is good, this has a nice taste, absolutely, right? Absolutely. And that you don't order some yeah. uh, shit wine from South Africa or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they have good yeah. wines. I Africa, don't though. agree. I agree with you. Yeah. South Africa. Yeah. They have good wines. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. A only Italy and France. No, they have yeah. good For wines. As well. <laughs> Italy, I would say. Italy, I'm Italy. only France and Italy. Uh, guy. Okay. Next, uh, next year we're going to, uh, to, uh, to South Africa. We're going to try some wines there. They're okay. really good. But uh, the last I want to give you also is also be nice to the waiter, the waitress, to be nice to the guys who are serving you. Don't just be nice to the person you're on a date with, but to nice to be nice to everyone. That's also a tip I want to give you because if you're a dick to the guy who's who's helping you, it's gonna give also a bad look to the uh, to the woman. And okay. just don't be a dick uh, in general. Okay, and that's the final final part of the etiquette section. Don't put your phone on the table. Yeah. Everyone does this. It's not nice. Everyone puts a phone on the table. Even if they do it like this, it's an immediate signal. Like, I don't find you guys interesting enough yeah. because I can check my phone at any moment. Yeah, if I'm bored. Yeah, if I'm bored or if you go to the, the toilet and you pick up your phone in one second, like, yeah. don't yeah, do the it. phone is not... Uh, uh, just put your phone as far away as possible. Yeah. Okay. So that was the etiquette part. You should give lots of compliments throughout the date. Okay. I, I agree. And don't agree at the same time. I think it's good to give some compliments to the girl, but don't overdo it. Don't be like everything she does. Like, oh, that looks good. Oh, your eyes look beautiful. Oh, I love your hair. You can do it like subtle. Like, like if you're having a conversation and then you notice something, oh, I like that about you. Like something like that. But don't overkill that because that's that, that takes away the power of the compliment, I think. What do you think, Amir? I think I agree with you. So you should, you should always be sincere when you give the compliment, exactly, right? Exactly. Exactly. So it's not like giving compliments just to give compliments, or like, or you're overwhelmed, or like I like you, and I, you know, yeah. <laughs> like you go on overturn <laughs> over it <laughs> with a really yeah. beautiful girl, yeah, and you just say she's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, but, every but, time. But yeah. the, the thing with beautiful girls is also they know they're beautiful. Yeah. So. Take okay, give her a compliment that it, that you mean that you find interesting about her because that's when it's sincere. Yeah, but I think the person sitting in front of you is happy also to be with you, so you have to also keep yeah. that in mind, right? So you're sitting together, yeah. and you have to keep that balance. Exactly. Right. Like, I'm happy to be here, and I hope you're happy to be yeah. here as well. And then you keep the energy also like neutral, like not overwhelming for that person. Mm -hmm. Because if someone says to you like. You probably really like your eyes constantly. Yeah, uh, like. <laughs> yeah it's like it's like money as well, right? You shouldn't inflate your your compliments. Basically, yeah. if yeah. you give too many compliments, it inflates. You have inflation is le worth less. Yeah, right? exactly. Hundred percent. So 100%. just give some compliments, but especially with very beautiful girls, they know they're beautiful. Yeah, they get, they get compliments and they get compliments every, all the yeah. time. So then the actual power play is to not give compliments. I yeah, no, or, or to give compliments that you find interesting, like maybe yeah. in her in her how she is as a person and then when you have a conversation she says something you think oh okay that's why i agree with and then yeah, but you say that sometimes but it's also good looks. to give yourself yeah. a compliment right if you're sitting with a really beautiful girl yeah. and she's <laughs> with you on a date so it's good to say like hey i look good you're a date with me you're the lucky one at the table yeah i always say, I always say that. <laughs> right <laughs> Yeah. It's good to give yourself compliments as well. Okay. Noted for the next time. <laughs> yeah. give, give myself all compliments. Now what would you <laughs> give yourself a compliment on then? I would say uh, like 
no, I don't know. Just like a feel, feel good, you know, and say like, hey, I'm happy that we are both here instead of I'm happy here that I'm here with you or like, oh, no way. you know? Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's, that's a good one. I'm happy that we match. Well, uh, just yeah. over exaggerating, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair, yeah. fair. It's good. Good. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go to the next one. I have a fun one. This is my actual opinion. Okay. Never say how you make money or what you do for work. I don't agree. Uh, I, don't oh, I, 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 I think you should say what you do if a person asks what you do, right? Yeah. Instead of like overwhelming that person with the things you're doing so well. Yeah. So if a person's asked what you're, what you're doing and you can't answer, it's also a bit awkward yeah and also I, I, I wouldn't also lie about it I, I agree on the part where you don't say how much money you make because then you look mm -hmm. so like you want to brag about the money you make i would mm -hmm. never say that but no. you can be proud of the work you do right you can say okay i made this business or i i did this and i'm doing this at the moment yeah true but it's more like this is the beginning stage right yeah what i always say is i work for the cia <laughs> I always say that. Yeah, I work for the CIA. Yeah. <laughs> or for Dutch special services. Because <laughs> I often, often, every, every girl is going on date with Maze on the, in yeah, the future. Gonna be like, I'm the CIA. Oh, I know. I saw. <laughs> I saw you're on the CIA. Yeah. Often they look on my Insta, right? Yeah. And they see like uh, the green car that I've sold now, by the way. And um, that I'm wearing a suit all the time and stuff. And I think, what the hell does he do? And if I say it, the, the magic is gone. You know, the spell is gone. Oh, yeah. So I prefer, I just say, no, I'm, I'm a special agent for Dutch uh, special services. Yeah. You do look like a special agent, though. Uh, thank you. Now you're choosing his ego I like that. A very <laughs> nice oh, suit. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I received a very nice suit. To, to yeah. me that. <laughs> oh, 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 Am I giving oh. too much compliments? Yeah. Now? yeah this is, <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's fun. It's a fun play, right? Because yeah. you don't say it. And she's like, ah, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, you can but joke we are, about it. But we are in a nice restaurant. And then eventually you give in, you just say Yeah, okay. Like as a joke. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. But the thing is, <laughs> if you go on it's the date, it's like a running joke. Yeah. yeah but if you go on the date, you watch this, and you know you're gonna say the joke. The, 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 no, <laughs> don't okay, do it. No, don't no, do it. No, no, no it's no. only gonna go bad. And make up your own joke. Yeah. Make up your own story yeah. that fits for you. That's all. That's also a good tip. I think w when you make a woman laugh, that's the best thing you can do on a date as well. When you're funny, that like that's the boost your attractiveness like massive yeah you have experience with that yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. no just 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 just, just play it cool i'll, I'll make some jokes i yeah, think, I think it's, it's always important. Helps. It's, it's important to 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 add to your to your um point what you say to your point is that and also to may's point be confident right mm -hmm. you have to be confident so if someone asks you what you do whatever you do be confident and feel good about it otherwise you're doing the wrong thing right exactly True. if you yeah, can't correct. answer it mm -hmm. so be be confident it's also also works right because it's also sometimes hard to say what you do you so you have to really tell the person from step to step what yeah. you're doing the yeah. whole day or but i think that's um, gives is also a traffic attractive thing to be confident in what you do whatever you do yeah. You have to simplify what you do as yeah. well. Like when you eventually say it, you have to make it simple. Because when, when we say, oh, we sell B2B software as a service platform. <laughs> yeah. to she other, already left. She to already other, left, bro. To she other e-commerce businesses yeah. wanting to grow. Uh, blah, blah, blah. No. <laughs> She's Maybe already you done. You can tell her later. Yeah. later. No, yeah. if, if she asks more questions about it, no. you can like elaborate on that. But I would yeah. just say, I own the business and I, yeah. do, I do software. Yeah. Period. I sell stuff in the clouds. Yeah. And it makes in the money. clouds. It's, go, it's going through the air right it's now. It's going through the air right as now. As we speak, it's, it's going through you as we speak. Uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I would say something like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a good one for a software business. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, this one wasn't. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that was it. <laughs> that, was, that was how. <laughs> or w let's say you work at, um, at the supermarket at Albert Heijn or at uh, Tesco. You what would you say? Her. What would you say? I would just also be international confident. beverages manager yeah. for a large multinational billion dollar <laughs> company. <laughs> yeah. I would just be confident in what you do. That's that's a tip I want to give. Maybe yeah. maybe you don't do the job you want to do eventually, but you're getting there. So just be confident in what you do. I look her straight in the eyes when you tell her. Yeah, that's what I do. That's yeah. who I am. <laughs> Period. Always a power play. Yeah, Looking exactly. straight in the eyes. Yeah, it's also a tip. Yeah, confidence, gentlemen. Confidence is the key thing. Key thing to success, I, I would agree. say. Right? Happiness, yeah. confidence. 
But then how do you get confidence? Yeah. We were talking, we were joking about this before the video, just saying, be confident to make money. Yeah, <laughs> and then to end the video. Yeah. But uh, in the end, that's the, that's the answer to everything. Yeah, how confident. do you become confident? By acting confident the, through the small things. Yeah. Not lying about what you're doing. So if you work at Shell mm -hmm. and, and at the tank station, you, you, I assume you're sitting on the, with the lady who finds it okay to be with you so you can tell her what you're doing and if she doesn't like to be with you on that mm -hmm. matter mm -hmm. then she leaves and then you <laughs> you will you know what i mean yeah right be confident in what you're doing because in 10 years from now you will be also doing something different and you have to tell the person sitting in front of you the same story so the thing you have to do is be confident to tell the person what you're doing again mm -hmm. yeah right otherwise you're making the same mistake again and but yeah. but by hiding or like saying like i don't i, I will tell you later oh it's like a like, it's like a running joke <laughs> <You're right. laughs> because they, they already think something like that and i say it and they're like hey yeah. what's, yeah. what's going on here yeah, yeah. who is yeah. this guy and then yeah. they're more interested but so but, but the main thing is like how do you become confident in what you do as well practicing by the little yeah. things i think in general it's practicing by the little things just just be confident in the little steps you take so if you take her to the date you have taken care of the restaurant you have taken care of the food it's already you're halfway there so if you are not confident on telling her what you're doing then you have to focus on that to to be yeah what we are explaining now i would say as an advice be confident in what you do and tell yeah. that it's a nice tip if you do like if you plan everything in advance and if you're watching this and you're going on the first date with a girl and you're doing everything what, what we just said you said you told her how late you're going to pick her up where you're going you told her dress nice and you know you're going to drop her off you're already in the top 10 percent of girls when you go on the date yeah. like most guys don't do that so you can be confident in what you're going to do in that night because you did something that she probably hasn't experienced in her life before so that's maybe a good th tip as well that you come confident to the date yeah i think genuinely if you follow all these tips like most girls will indeed already be like yeah. what's going on yeah. you, like you, what's happening here yes next year you will be married i think if you follow these certain these, these rules specific are easy, <laughs> easy, and easy. it's also this is also a good way no, to see if you have the right woman in front of you because some women don't like to be treated this way they want to take care like uh, of stuff themselves they be they want to be in charge but those women yeah especially I don't like those women. I, I, I would have a girl that I can take care of, like I can pick her up and she like, she can dress nice and stuff. So you can already see also if she likes that you are taking the lead with the girl you're dealing with and if you want to like move to a, to a second date. Yeah, just like old school, right? Yeah. You don't want a really modern woman, probably. I mean, I mean if, like if, if you, you want to, you want to. If, if, uh, if you want to, go to Joe and the Juice. Tip for me. Juice. Joe and the juice for modern. <laughs> no, no, if if you don't want a modern, if you don't want a like old school woman, but you want a modern woman, yeah. just go to Joe the juice. Yeah, that's Easy. a modern woman. Yeah, that's a modern woman. Is that yeah. also yeah? Is internationally it Joe and the juice? Yeah, Joe juice. Yeah, or just in Holland. I, I thought it's initially. I don't know. I think it's everywhere in the world. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. Okay. Otherwise, I have to come to Holland. Or you can yeah. go to the Gouden Boog. Gouden Boog. What's that? McDonald's. Oh. <laughs> the golden no, arches just, the no, golden no, arches no, sorry guys <laughs> I was like ha? Huh? I was like yeah no, no, don't go to McDonald's on no, a date because you'll eat seed oils yeah. that's not a video <laughs> <laughs> but it's also okay to go on a McDonald's yeah, no, maybe yeah. later no we're like no, we're talking no. we're you talk, die we're from talk, going to McDonald's no, we're, yeah, right, we're talking right. specifically on the first date no I don't that's the first date go to a good burger restaurant if you want to eat a burger not McDonald's I agree with you don't eat burgers yeah <laughs> wag you wag wag you wag you burgers <laughs> exception yeah, okay. the next one okay well, what do you wear or should you never wear on a date i think this is the, the question for you amir so gentlemen avoid t-shirts like t-shirts you have worn yesterday when you have slept i would avoid that also take care of yourself you know just try to Imagine the place where you're going, read the room. So if you're going to a restaurant, dress up, go for a jacket, a nice shirt, good perfume. Two rules I always follow, you're never overdressed and you're never overeducated. Whatever other people think, might think, follow these two rules and you're always good when you go, especially when you're on a date. It's a 
festive moment for yourself, right? So you have to dress up. And when you go on a date in the evening, if it's in the evening, you go to a restaurant, make sure that you don't wear too light clothes because it's in the evening, you wear more darker clothes, like a nice navy blazer, dark blue, nice dark shirt. And um, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's something. Uh, take the effort to, to dress well when you go out. It's not like you're going on like visiting a friend, right? No, and, exactly. And, you know I agree. I mean? And like, the girl is also dressing up. She's putting on a perfume. Yeah. She's putting on her makeup or a nice dress, you know? Right. You have Take to the moment. Her. Take the moment. Yeah. Right? And I also, she's probably yeah. prettier than you. Yeah. So you have to put in a little bit more effort than <laughs> yeah. she, that and she I, does. And I also think that girls notice when you take care of herself more than guys do as well. That if she mm. looks at you, and she can tell that you took care of yourself. Yeah, like you did your hair, you, did, you brushed your teeth well, you, you took a shower, you, they can tell. So please do that. I when think that's the minimum, right? Yeah, it's the minimum. Yeah. I mean, but like... For the guys who <laughs> are going on the, on the first date, I mean... Uh, no, no, but we're targeting the gentleman audience okay. on YouTube now, right? So the, yeah. The proper gents. Yeah, okay. But they also so they going on the first date. Like True. For some, 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 so just the bare minimum, do that as well. We're basically targeting your little brother. Iron right your shirt, gentlemen, <laughs> yeah. when you go. I've seen this many times. Also, people who come some to a place where they, even if they have a sweater or a t-shirt or a jeans or whatever trousers, it's like grabbed from the closet, not ironed. I would oh, say yeah. iron it, iron it. Yeah, it's not, that's it's also, I see guys that they don't iron their shirt when they go like, to, so right. if you have like a, maybe a party in the evening or something with your friends, they, they celebrate something, they don't do that. Yeah, why do you no. do that? But I think we are like, our minimum is and the, minimum of the, the minimum of the most guys are like down here. Yeah. So like, I think we also have to say those stuff, like please iron your shirt, yeah. please do your hair, mm -hmm. please brush your teeth. Yeah, uh, 100%, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, brushing teeth, I think that's like, even not gentlemen brush their teeth, but I do agree with you. It's like yeah. that. Take but some gum, smell nice, yeah. a good perfume, invest in a good perfume. So you like everything is in, in place. So you fragrance, what, sh what kind of perfume should they buy? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of in a, uh, in a problem right now because we, uh, we did a podcast with Jesper and he gave me a perfume from, um, uh, this, this is one Dutch brand with a perfume. I forgot the name of it. I don't know if you know, uh, it's in Amsterdam. It's a Dutch uh, entrepreneur. Ah. It's uh, Ivra. No, no, it's not Ivra. But uh, well, you, you can see this in the video. But he gave me one. And the compliments I received with that perfume was out of, out of, out of, out of this world. Like moms, even. Women's, guys. Like I, I could, they gave me compliments <laughs> everywhere. But it, it showed me that if you wear it like a nice cologne, it has, a, it has a good effect on you. And also the way that you make an impression on someone. So I would say... Invest in a good perfume. You leave an express. You leave an. You leave uh, your your. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you one example. Before I when I started here, I had one gentleman coming to to my place when I was younger, and that gentleman was the like the person who take care of the office of the king. And he used to come and order garments, and I used to advise him, but he always smelled nice, always, and when he entered. At Amadis, I always knew that he was there. So it's like the thing you like. Don't overwhelm it, of course. Like, no, you no, know, no, you know, no, don't, no, don't overwhelm it by perfume. But smelling nice, it's a, uh, it's one thing. I never, I have certain rule. I always polish my shoes, and I have never forget to put a perfume on when I leave the door. That's like a habit which I always do. Mm -hmm. Because you know, when you come across people, people like it when you smell nice. And choose a perfume that fits you. You learn it through the time. If you don't have a budget, you go for a perfume which is probably a bit less expensive. But if you can afford it, go to a, like a specialty house and go to perfume houses and try some perfumes that fit you. Don't follow the general idea of like this perfume is nice. Probably it doesn't fit your skin, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. you have to go for some. If I put oud, which is quite strong it doesn't fit my skin oh, yeah. so you have to go i think for something which really fits you and it stays during the day that you don't smell it anymore but the person sitting in front of you or hanging out with you smells it as well exactly so i think that's but 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 perfumes are always difficult because you you think you found the right one and then yeah you use it for a couple of years and then yeah. you want another one but and then you, and you smell like a different one you're like oh that one is that one is really really good and then you go for that one but it's 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 good also to to match around no yeah to you but, but don't years. forget it just put it on and um, 
Yeah, use it every day. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, like a minimum, I think. Fugazi was the name of the uh, of the uh, Fugazi Fugazi. Yeah, Fugazi Fugazi. Yeah, it was Fugazi. So if you're in the Netherlands, go to that place in Amsterdam because they have uh, like a whole variety of different different smells and uh, they can help you good with it. Free, free spa. It's a Fugazi. It's Fugazi Fugazi. It's fake. Very. Yeah. Yeah. It's Jordan, tell them. It's never <laughs> I always wear etamades though when I uh, go on a date. So always people ask me like. Do you always wear your brand? I always say like, yes, I do. That's also a thing that I have always done. It's like wearing always my own clothes. So like. Okay, question. Okay, question. But if you have a, your own brand, do you have to wear your own brand? I think so. I always said, uh, if, if, so like my jackets are always myself from, from Etamades, my shirts, my trousers, my shoes. I think two things which are, which we have to work on more at Etamades. I think we have to, do the underwear and the socks, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> except of that. Besides, you have everything, you have everything, <laughs> everything covered. Everything is etamatis. Oh, I'm really okay. proud of that as well. Like we are laughing, laughing about it. When I was younger and I used to go to, to dinner dates and I used to tell people like I design clothes or make clothes or advise people on how to, how to dress, the ladies would say like, Really? You're like you have your own brand? Can can I see your can I see in your neck? You're like yeah. <laughs> they would look at the logo, right? <laughs> and <Yeah. laughs> then you show it. Like, so that's uh, <laughs> That's fun. That's fun. That's yeah. that's a funny thing. Yeah. That's yeah. Yep. And then you come there, be proud of what you do. Because at the beginning of what you're doing, you're doing it very, really small. But maybe in ten years you're doing it really big. So okay. if you're proud on what you're doing, um yeah, th then it will become become that dream big. Yeah. Don't um, yeah. Be confident in where you want to go later yeah. on, especially when you're in your first starting uh, years. I think. Hundred percent. I was in Croatia, and there were like um, two very pretty girls going to sit right next to us at um, like a terrace. Right, we were in a, in a split on the riva on the boulevard, mm -hmm. and there were tables next to us. So they were sitting next to us. They were really beautiful. It was our first night, and we were coming there by with my car. So we had all been talking for like 12 hours, like, yeah, I'm going to do this, I'm gonna, right? We're all bragging basically for 12 hours long. So then whenever two really pretty girls sit next to us, you have to back up your bragging. So I go sit with them and I talk a little bit. They come sit with us. We go uh, to another bar and stuff. But then just the more this girl keeps talking, it just, no. Like she was just saying, oh, I went to Venezuela on traveling and to Thailand and... Uh, I love uh, partying and stuff. I was just no. Yeah, you already <laughs> filled it in. You yeah, you just you just know already, right? Yeah. Because yeah. it's basically when they go so many places, they've done a lot of things. Yeah. And I find that very unattractive. But when you're on a date, that's very hard because when you're really like one on one, that's basically also what we had in the first point. Like you should know that beforehand already. Mm -hmm. That should already be like qualification. Because when you're on a date and that happens and you know you're not attracted to her anymore or the other way around, like basically you can also be that instead mm -hmm. of the girl, then it's really messed up. Yeah, and then you're know, just throwing your time away as well. Yeah. Which is valuable. Very but valuable. But also enjoy the moment where you're in, right? So you're sitting there and you're doing, you don't like the date, but you like the food. At least enjoy the food. <laughs> right? Good food. Drink, drink, yeah, you know. drink a drink good you. wine. So don't go to I drink, I drink a lot. <laughs> drink a lot. Don't go to the Golden Arches then. Yeah, I enjoy it. <laughs> It's, it's like, yeah, you can. Would you leave immediately if the date is not on your no, like? No, uh, I would not leave immediately. No, not immediately. No, no I'll, I'll always be also respectful to the uh, to the woman you're taking on the date. I think I, I would never leave immediately. Maybe you can say in mid, like during the date, uh, this is maybe going more friendly. You can give her that. Yeah, that talk a, with, but, yeah. but also be, be be respectful because if you're not attractive to her, it doesn't mean you have to hate her. You can still be nice to her, like. Right? Be friendly? Yes. Absolutely. But my worst dating experience. I, 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 I believe I have like... Lost relationship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to talk you're bad about my ex. I'm not no, going to no, talk, no, about, no, 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 no. talk about my ex. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I don't know. I made, there, was, there was one time where I, I met with a woman and she watched our podcast. So that, that was weird. It wasn't like bad because she was still a good girl. But I was telling about myself. Yeah, I, I did this. I went to America. And then she just said, yeah, I know. So yeah. I was like, huh? I know. But she, but she listened to all the podcasts we did before. Mm -hmm. So that, that that was weird. But I think that's the weirdest experience I've been on. Yeah, never like uh, the lady like leaves. 
like you have left no 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 but i, d I don't go think think on, good on, i think i i, it, I think what like may said like, like i i i have a lot of qualification when i go on a date like most of the time i know it's a good girl i'm not it, i'm not going on the date if i if i have the feeling like oh this is probably not gonna be you here. know what i've had one time so i went on a date with a girl i didn't have any i didn't think about how that would go and then she gets in the car she is like she smelled awful i was like oh my god it's like a bad start immediately <laughs> you're like yeah. even you don't you have not started yet yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know oh. that's like not cool you know right yeah. <laughs> it's like the, it can get worse like you start bad <laughs> and then you have to be kind because you yeah. have like what can, what should you do so yeah that happens yeah oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that immediately yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think that's the worst experience. And what are the best experiences? Well, the best experiences I've been on. The best date. The best date. I think the fir the best date is when we, when I first did the thing that we discussed during this episode. When I first did that. So when I texted her, okay, let's go on a date. I pick you up at eight, dress something nice. I'll take care of the night. And I took care of the whole night and brought her home. Mm -hmm. And I went home and I was like, okay. Yeah, was that uh this is what i uh how it's supposed to go and i had the most fun as well because i took care of everything and stuff i think that that was the uh, the best date i've been on yeah. it's not like she said yeah please come in she didn't say that no 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 first date first date the first if you were looking for if you're looking for long term no the thing is also if you go on the first date with a woman and you're already sleeping with her she probably does that with a lot of more people as well. Yeah, but then you know it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> then you know it. But like if you're looking for a long-term relationship yeah, right. and you think, okay, this is a girl I can see myself being for a long time with. And then on the first date, you've, so you're like, oh, let's sleep together. You're probably not the first one who did that. No, and probably not the first first one who's going to do that in the future. Yeah. And don't think it's because you're so smooth no. because you're the guy. No, it's no. not because of that. No, because there's always something with like bigger muscles, more money and stuff. Yeah, exactly. It's always with a smoother talk. No, no. No, it's exactly. not because you're so smart. It's but because it, 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 because it, it, she's it, it all yeah. also depends on what you want, right, from that day. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Right? So if you're looking for a girlfriend, I wouldn't do it. If you're looking for your future wife, yeah. I wouldn't do it. And the lady in front of you wouldn't do it as well. Yeah. But if you're, like, enjoying the moment and she's, like, she's enjoying the moment and you're looking for something specific, it can happen. Right? Mm -hmm. Or Yeah, <laughs> it okay. can happen, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So no putting no labels on it. Yeah. Exactly. It can happen. Yeah, I mean, if you're... But I think if you want to sleep with her on the first date, is this the best way to approach it? We no, already, then you shouldn't go to a restaurant or something. Yeah. No. That's, that's when you go for a walk in the park. I think it's good to eat or first. Put less effort. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, also, like... <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, like, if you... Y your main goal on the first date is to sleep with someone, what's the point of getting to know her? Yeah, yeah true. So you're that's not. that's the thing I have. Like when I go on a date, I'm there because I'm interested in you as a but person. I want to get to know you better. Little disclaimer: everything from this point is haram. So, <laughs> what is what is what haram? haram. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this we don't engage in this. Oh, uh, you does? Uh, wh wh why? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, guys. I take it serious. I have one. Well, I have but you, you is a truly gentleman. I found at this table at the moment. So since we are talking quite of a mi time together, I think. You both are quite of a gentleman. Yeah, yeah. Yup is really a gentleman. Yeah, I think uh, we were once in Antwerp and Belgium. At the beginning, I was thought like he was like killing it, you know, like no, bur burning, not burning true. the dates. But I think no, I no, it's not, not like, it's not true. It's not true. Right? Yeah. yeah. You we were once like in Antwerp in Belgium, and we went to a club with like um, a friend of ours, and he's very famous in Belgium. Mm -hmm. So we were like standing in the thing, and we had some bottles and. We're just girls all around this guy because he's really like a pretty boy as well, right? Yeah. He's like, um, you know, all those old money TikToks and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, he's the guy that appears in all those TikToks. Yeah. So it was very fun. But then afterwards, one of the girls was super drunk and she was in our taxi home back to the hotel. But then she had to go out of the taxi because the taxi driver said, no, you're too drunk. So Joop then walked like 10 kilometers or something with her from uh, yeah. the other side of Antwerp to the hotel. And she had no shoes on as well. To bring her home. Yeah, yeah. That's also yeah. gentle, and it wasn't right? even your girl. Was no, and I, was, girl. I wasn't even going to do anything no. with her as well. <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, that's, that's what we talked about. You take care of the one you're with that night. Yeah. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So like, like it's different. With guys. Like, women are not the same as guys. And when she's with you, you take care of her. 
and she was with us because of that guy was with us. So yeah, you can't send a girl to walk yeah. across the city at two in the morning. But no. you have good manners in a row. Yeah. I think in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I would also like if give everybody the tip, like try to have good manners as well. Oh, it's not it's, it's not cringe no. i also truly enjoy cringe. it to um i also truly enjoy it to do it you know yeah. to have a good date to provide yeah, a good experience exactly. and stuff yeah. i once had one date in monaco and it was just a very good date you know the I best date you had or one of the best one of the best oh, you have you have more i like had that. multiple i had one in rome as well and <laughs> okay, some in sweden okay. but one in monaco was very good because i just like uh, picked her up with a car and then we drove to like uh, the restaurant and w we went to have dinner at the Café de Paris in Monaco, right? Mm -hmm. So we parked the car there, we go for the, the restaurant and the day before I was also eating at Café de Paris because um, I was a couple of days on my own before I joined my family again because I was driving with the car there and they flew. So uh, I was a couple of days alone, I eat there alone and the same guy was waiting there. So the next day um, he recognizes me from the day before and he's like watching me like, you know yeah <laughs> good job <laughs> 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 so i had a really nice uh, estonian girl just like a barbie basically yeah so we have dinner there and then we drive home and i had basically also this kind of this bottle i think this like one half, yeah i had like half of the bottle again so then we drove home that was i wouldn't say drunk but a little bit tipsy tipsy right <laughs> But I was driving super fast <laughs> on the mountain roads, <laughs> like oh. full M2 mode, Sport Plus, everything. And it was just super fun, super loud music on. Yeah, but you uh, enjoyed it the so moment, much right? Fun. Still, like, she was just like taking it. pictures yeah. and selfies and everything. Yeah. And I was just like, bam, I'm James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> it's just enjoying it. It's take take everything yeah. on that date, you know? Yeah. You have to enjoy that date fully. So without forcing the situation, right? And forcing anybody to do anything, but enjoy it. And then you can think about it later as like an event which happened yeah i still enjoy it when i think of it right like we didn't even it was the first date so we didn't even end up uh, yeah. crazy things or something but it was just really fun to do yeah so yeah okay i think also a lot of people have this conception that if you act a certain way that you are a simp you know what a simp is no you, you know what a simp is right like that you a simp is that you do everything for your girlfriend and then, yeah, yeah. then other people look at it and think oh he's a simp because he does everything for her but i think you can you can be a simp for the wrong woman but if she's the right woman she, you you're not a no, simp. no no but it's a simp if you don't get anything back in return and if she also if she doesn't love you back in return yeah and you keep giving love that's that's yeah that's then a, you're that's, a simp yeah that's, that's a the simp. definition yeah. right but if she respects you and you she does everything you want her to be and you think okay this is be this can be the goal for my a long time go for my dreams yeah the goal the goal of my dreams the goal you wished for you dreamed about then i don't think you can be a simp no if she yeah, she has, yeah. reciprocity right if she gives the value back and she respects you yeah, yeah exactly that's a misconception also as well because a lot of people say no you were simp you do this you do this and yeah then, uh, like what the stuff we described like yeah keeping open the door uh, dressing nice um paying for the but date that's and stuff simp. that's not simp right no, it no, is simping if you do it uh, one time, two time, and she doesn't give any love back. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. She but doesn't you're appreciate you back. The, and then you keep doing place, it for the right? fourth time, fifth time. Yeah. 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 But you should always... That's basically a um, mistake from the from the girl's side. But because she, just, she should just break up then. Yeah. And if you keep doing it, then you're the dummy. Yeah, I don't date more than three times with the certain people. Because if you date three times, she's already your girlfriend for me. Yeah, <laughs> like I I can yeah, already yeah. tell after the first date if this is going to be yeah. more and a long thing and then or not. Yeah, but the, yeah. the third date can mislead you. Yeah, okay. but the thing is, I can feel instantly if I have connection with someone or don't. Yeah, and I I don't use them as well. No. Like if if I if it's no, okay, it's no. I tell them and I had a good time as well. This was it. I think you both should behave, or should have behaved, as your girlfriend or boyfriend before the first date already. So don't do anything with other guys and stuff. And I think, yeah, yeah, truly. Because I, th I really think you can cheat on your future wife or um, husband before you even know them. I agree to that concept. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah. So if you want to have a really nice wife later or a really nice husband later, and now you go all all out doing drugs and ketamine and uh, sleeping with everyone, <laughs> yeah. then you're basically cheating on your future spouse that's uh, very deep my friend that's yeah. very spiritual i think so i i <laughs> I, 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 I disagree a little bit with it i think also you have you have to have some fun 
but when whenever you meet the right woman and you know you have the right woman, then you then you flip the switch. But I I don't agree with all the things you said, like taking drugs, sleeping with a bunch of women. But you can have some fun at some part of your li- your life, especially when you're. Yeah, of course, don't sit like this at the. Party, no, but, but like you you can you can you can get to know more girls, like some girls, but don't go all out, like be the the player of the whole the whole no, city. No. You can have some fun, but whenever you meet the woman. The duty you're gonna spend the rest of your, the rest of your life with, and keep your eyes open, gentlemen. Yeah. That's also important. But then it's her only, and it, you, you stop with the fun part. Then it's you focus on her. All right. The final you closing know statement. That you came into my world. Final closing statement. Do not date if you are broke. Yeah. So. Whoa. Yeah. What is broke? What is broke? Yeah, I think. Don't date if you're not the the statement you're trying to give. Don't date if you're not the guy that you want to be. Be so the d- person you are. Yeah, but I, we were talking about like this because I disagree with that because uh, we all know the story of you told Messi mm-hmm. or Frankie de Jong for the Dutch followers. They all they had a girlfriend from from a young age. And when you build a life together, I think that's the best love story you can have. But not everybody has them, of course. So I would say as well as you say, keep your eye open. And if you find the right one, stick with her as well. And don't ever leave a day one girl. That's a stupid mistake you can make. Yeah, that's if, the stupidest mistake. If you have a day one girl and she's been there from the start and you're you're elevating yourself, your your business maybe, and you leave her for some pretty girl in Monaco because you had you were drunk. Some bimbo. That's so stupid. Yeah. I'd, if I can see, I'd smack you to the to the camera right now. <laughs> that's the most, that's most stupid thing you can do. Uh, but I'm. I mean, yeah. That's what yeah. I'm. Uh, uh, my opinion. I think everyone has like, um, especially if you're watching this, right? If the algorithm reaches you, you probably have some ambition yeah. in your guts. Like you're not one of those people that's sitting on the couch, just like uh, eating popcorn all day, watching Netflix, and going to school and smoking weed. You probably have some ambition. You have some goal of where you want to be, some vision, and then like, you can't date the girl that you want to date when you're there, right? Because currently you're here, you don't yeah. know everything yet. You probably don't have the, the nice uh, the nice body yet, the nice manners, the nice wardrobe, the the smooth talk, you know? You don't have everything yet. You don't have the money yet, but later you have it. So then you can have way better girls basically because you're also better. Mm-hmm. So I, d- I don't agree on that. No? I don't agree on that. So I think you're always ready and you're always complete if you find that you're ready and complete. So if you're, if you don't have a lot of money, don't go on a date to a restaurant, go to a place where it costs you less. So I think, because the thing is, where do you start from being broke, how you feel? So if you feel broke, then you're broke. But what is broke? Because someone who has a million dollars in his bank account can feel broke because he's comparing himself to certain people who who has 10 million. You know what I mean? So you have to start somewhere. I think you ha- when you're dating with someone, just go for the yeah. Be happy. Be be, be You're already complete to be like yeah. Really, I know, but really like um, uh, it depends what you can like. What it's a market, right? It's a dating market. So yeah, yeah. if you're at this level and you want a girl that's at this level, you shouldn't do that. No, exactly, because then it's just the girl like basically feeling sorry for you and coming down to your level and saying, okay, let's go on a date. But if she's It's the same if you go with uh, a girl that's way below your level. I I agree, but if you're on a date with her and you're sitting with her, that means she's your level. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. She's coming with you. So I I, I know what you're saying, but the only thing I want to tell the viewers and to to, to the guys, from my experience being like this dinosaur, (laughs) you know, just, just just to... to know it's about how you feel. So if you feel like you're okay, even if you have like only 50 euros on your account and you're wanting to have more, of course, we as I think we are sitting here because we aspire a lot of things in life, but you have to feel confident like, okay, guys, I don't, I have that, but let's, let's try to work it out. Let's be happy with what, what I have. And then if it, that date wasn't work out, you will meet a certain another person. And that's, I think the confident, I think the, the general thing is like the confidence you have in that moment and you feel conf- you know how many times you look back and you think like hey i was already ready for it why did i why didn't i recognize that i was ready for the step mm-hmm. 
So that can happen through your life. You like you look back and think like, hey, I really that girl, I really liked her and I should have dated her and she really liked me, but I didn't feel complete. Yeah. So you're always complete. It's the matter of how you feel. And that's the difference between the people you see who succeed in many things, love, money, and uh, is that they believe in themselves from the moment, even though they don't have it. It's basically when you make the decision to do it, you've already done it, right? Yeah. That's what you mean. And, then and I, I also want to add to you, you said you cannot uh, predict whenever you're going to fall in love as well. So I feel like when you're on that journey to becoming the person you want to be, you, it can happen along the like along the line 100%. of that person. And then if it happens, make the commitment. So to I'm it. gonna I'm gonna give you one personal personal note, which is what happens to me because I always worked from my career, my work. I designed. I wanted to dress the most successful man in the world, like Prince Albert or like people from royalties. And I always had a dream to do that. That was my like my dream. I want to dress successful people. And at some point, I, 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 I did it. And then I had a personal ambition of having a family. And I went out on a party and I was all alone. And then I met my girlfriend. And two years later, we have a little girl. So the only thing I want to say is that you don't know how life goes. You don't know where you meet the little, the girl of your your dreams. You don't know where you you can meet her at the bus station. You can meet her in in not McDonald's but like a yeah, true, true, true. You yeah. you you know be yeah. be open for it. Yeah, like exactly. be okay, be okay to be a guy. Be open to have the honest conversation. So if you're sitting on a date, having an honest conversation, being yourself, then you make the most of the moment, and that that person like really wants to hang out with you. Like, hey, yeah. this guy is relaxed. You know, instead of like being like super cool or acting super cool, he is cool. Like not comparing yourself with other people, being yourself. And like, I think, I think that that's, that's my, my experience of, of, of how things go. Yeah, you never know. You never, never know. know. Only God yeah. knows. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. God steers the boat, but you must row. Yeah. yeah. You, you, know when you're, you know where you're born, but where you end up, you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I think we and then at the end we got very deep instantly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's good. Well, I it's think always. I th yeah, I mean, this is uh, how it goes, right? The conversations. So whenever you uh, pick yes. a topic where you all agree on or interested in. Okay, guys, those were the points about what to do on your first date. Please um, send this to a friend if you liked it. And if you like more gentleman content, subscribe to us if you like more making money content also subscribe to us like the video comment yeah. what you and also don't, don't comment what you dress think well don't forget to dress and you dress well, exactly. well at a specific spot at the of the hague yeah exactly sorry i have to make i have to make some uh, commercial exactly. for my brand at so the malis for <laughs> your suits for your for your shirts your polos <laughs> down below you everything can check here. out amir's beautiful business here in the center of the hague right next to the I royal palace it, it's really at the malis it. and it's the best tailor in the netherlands and i will probably say in northern europe so please go here and um, with that being said, see you in the next video. See bye you bye. guys.